Hi everybody, thank you for watching. So a couple days ago I had posted that drugstore haul and I had used some of the products to do my contour and highlight routine. I saw a bunch of you guys requesting how I did the routine with the drugstore products so I figured why not just film it for you guys. I do leave for Texas tomorrow so if you could see the clothes all over my floor I apologize. I'm in the middle of packing and the way I usually pack is I'll pre-plan all my outfits with the jewelry and everything and that way I'll set them up on my floor and then that way I don't overpack and bring too much stuff even though I always end up bringing too much stuff anyway. I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you want to learn how to contour and highlight your face using only drugstore products from my haul, please keep watching. For foundation, I'm using the Stay Matte Foundation by Rimmel. I'm just applying this all over my face with my Sigma foundation brush. To contour my face, I'm using this darker color by CoverGirl. I'm going to be making lines wherever I want to contour, and then later on I'm going to be taking a bigger brush to buff it all in. Once I buffed in all the lines, I'm just going back to my foundation brush and I'm just blending it all in. In place of the lighter CoverGirl stick, I'm using this Revlon concealer that I actually forgot to put in my haul. It is new. And I'm just applying this wherever I want to highlight my face, which is under my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, in between my eyebrows, and on my chin. I know it looks like a ton of concealer, but we're going to be blending this all in with that same foundation brush, and that is the key to each step of this look, to continue using this brush to smooth it all out, to make sure it doesn't look cakey or anything like that. Then to top it off, I'm using some setting powder, also by Rimmel, and this is just to set the concealer and the foundation. For bronzer, I'm using this one by NYC and I'm applying this all over my cheekbones on the sides of my forehead and I'm just basically going over the whole contour that I had done with the cream concealer. to life fight fear for the selfish pain it was worth it every time 
hold still right before we crash because we both know how this ends. So this is the final result. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and remember to stay tuned for part two which is going to be a day to night makeup look. I love you guys so much and I will be in Texas until Monday so I'm not sure if I'll be able to film but I will be trying to do a fashion post while I'm there. So have a great weekend and I will see you guys later.